This is Damon Stevens, the Federal Builders. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022, the stock market update for trades of the day. We talked about in the video last night that you know this may be a pause before the FOMC uh, results on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. It looks like that's exactly what it was. So hopefully you were safe out there today and that you're prepared for the meeting tomorrow. Definitely will bring volatility as we get close to that meeting and after the meeting as the market digests uh, the notes and uh, where the interest rates going. And we're expecting you know at least 50 basis points uh, on a move in the uh, interest rate, uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens or if there's new news, additional news that comes out uh, that may freak out the market or may help us you know, to start to rally up from where we're at now. So let's get right into it. So again, remember we're not financial advisors. Uh, what we do is we're sharing our trades with you and uh, help, trying to help you to uh, learn and to be successful as a trader. Uh, if you'd like to join our Discord, uh, please do so. Go to fanwealthlive.com. You'll find a link out there. Uh, it's free. Uh, and uh, we post our uh, pre-market list of stocks that we're trading for the day, as well as the levels, entry levels and exit levels. Uh, so hopefully that's a helpful guide for you. Uh, it's free. And uh, I hope it'll make you uh, a good trader and also, you know, help you to find success. But, uh, you know, we also have some training out there as well on fanwealthlive.com. Uh, and if you want to, uh, at some point, uh, definitely join us as members, and that way you can trade live with us and to be able to, uh, you know, see everything as we trade uh, and share with us what, what you're doing as well. So join us. Let's get right into it. Take a look at the market. Good at uh, the market. Dow Jones closed up 0.2%, NASDAQ up 0.22%, and S&P 500 up 0.48%. So pretty much flat for the day. You can see a lot of chop here other day so hopefully you uh you didn't try trading too much of this um if you were uh hopefully you're able to catch the, the top ends of the, some of this but uh you know you see here on our heat map you know pretty mixed across the board but uh, we'll see tomorrow what that brings energy was definitely the probably the strongest sector in the area the well finance had some good areas as well uh, looking at our scanner nothing really hit like over Kind of what we like to see, but we did have some trades uh, that uh, we've been trading for a few days here. So Redbox is one of those, RDBX. So we had a nice little run yesterday up to eleven dollars. Uh, we had a pullback to six forty eight and a run back up to six uh, eight thirty four. So just under two dollar run. So that's huge though. Um, and then we've kind of pulled back here. So we'll see. Do we get more out of a red box? I'm not sure, uh, but we'll check tomorrow to see if we get some more off this. Max kind of gives a nice little pop right on the market, pre-market and market up to 8.30, you know, from this uh, 6.30 area. So almost, you know, $2 run. And then you see it's pulling back here. So we, we might be done on VAX as well, but we'll kind of see what the price action is tomorrow. And then a new one, SOUN. This really was a couple of day trades, uh, but we, it wasn't on our radar till this morning. Uh, and you can see here, you had a nice run, you know, from this 878 ever up to 1814. Then they just kind of trickled off the rest of the day. So I traded it at the beginning. I did not trade it at the end. Uh, we'll see if we get some more on this, but I don't like how far it sold off. It's actually just, you know, it may come back, back and find support here around this 1238 area. If it can bounce off that and run again, uh, then maybe we can try to get, you know, back up to 18 or, or higher. Uh, as far as earnings, we did trade uh, AMD after hours. So that was a good trade. Uh, we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the rest did not trade. Uh, and uh, going into tomorrow, we have Uber, Etsy, and Twilo that we'll be watching as we get into earnings uh, tomorrow after hours. So here's AMD. And I put it on an eight, minute, eight hour chart so you can see the after hours action. So you can see here, you know, we got the low down here around 88, 77. And uh, we topped out, you know, just close to, you know, in these high 90s. So uh, it was really good run. Uh, right now we're sitting about 97.84. So we're sitting above the 50. So we'll see if we can hold that. Maybe we'll run up towards the 100. Move an average around 103. Uh, if we don't, you know, just as long as we hold above this 50, if we break below the 50 uh, to 96 area, we might have a short opportunity here. But AMD was run, running strong before, and that's why we traded it. 
uh, and uh, it didn't disappoint today. So hopefully uh, you uh, caught some of that as well. Facebook kind of flat. It's above the last two candles. So I like that. Um, it would be close higher. So we'll see if we can kind of rally up here. We got to get above, you know, really break above this uh, two, you know, 17 area, this 50 moving average. So we can kind of take off. If not, we may pull back here and find support down here at 204 on the 20. Amazon still kind of sitting flat at the top of this candle though. So I like this. So maybe we can chase back in, you know, up through these candles and, and uh, find some support. But uh, for today, not much. So we'll see what tomorrow brings with the, the volatility that's going to come. Um, Apple will close above the 200, but, which is great, about halfway up this candle. Uh, so, you know, the goal is to run up towards the top of this candle around 161. If, if we break down below the 200, then we could come back and retest this 154 area. Baba kind of sandwiched here on the upper part of this candle. We need a break above, you know, 103 to kind of run and get going here. Uh, if not, if we break down below 95, look for some more downside here, which would be a shorting opportunity. Netflix, uh, again, we're staying on the monthly chart of Netflix, which is really want to monitor this one. We really want to see it uh, get some momentum and some legs here to, to run, and then we kind of move it back to a, a daily chart. So looking for a hold at the 200 and a bounce. So if we can get you know above 200 and hold above 200, hopefully we can hit run up towards this 220, 230 area. Uh, you can see here where it'll be resistance here because it's, that's where we were before a couple of times. Uh, if we do break below the 200, you know, look for a move back down to 180, 160. NVIDIA is trying to run up here as well. We need to really break above this uh, 203 level and run up to 210. If we don't and we kind of consolidate here, we could come back and pull down these lows around 191. Uh, Tesla. Tesla is above, you know, close above a lot of these moving averages for last week. It's climbing up this candle, looking for a continuation run up here towards, uh, you know, 950. If we break 950, 960, and then, you know, maybe we can go higher towards that 1000, but step at a time here. If we break back below 900, uh, we may start to, to retrace back and, and recapture some of these uh, old, uh, old levels here around 850, 860. Occidental closed above all these candles for this last uh, week or so. Closed right at the top of this candle as well. So looking for a retracement and chase up here, hopefully towards the, these upper candles towards 63 area. If we don't, we don't hold the 20 uh, and we break 57, we'll probably come down, back down here towards 55, 54. Uh, definitely like our videos and uh, subscribe. And hopefully these are helpful for you. Uh, definitely take advantage of our free training and our free Discord. Uh, and uh, if you're ready to learn how to become a better trader, definitely join us. And that way we can kind of learn together and uh, help each other out. Um, the more we have it, each other as a community, the, the better we have and the more ideas that we're going uh, to have uh, to drive this market and to, to be successful. You know, the 10-year yield kind of towards the upper part of breaking out here, you know, $3 is, is the next level. Uh, we may continue to consolidate here. We've been here for you know a little bit over a week, so we'll see if we make that breakout dollar consolidating as well for a week. So either break above you know 304 or break below uh, 102. Vix pull back here, which is great. It's pulled it's under 30 again. We need to get it really down you know below 25. So we'll see if we continue now with the FOMC meeting tomorrow. This, you could very well see a spike. So if you do see a dip on the VIX in the morning, expect a, a spike in the afternoon, which could you know bring numbers uh, of the market down or up. So we'll see, just uh, be safe out there as you're trading uh, tomorrow. We're gonna spy here. You can see the spy may close to up here above this candle, which is good. We're about, you know, right at the base of these other candles. So that was the area of support before, a little bit of resistance now. If we break it tomorrow, you know, really, I didn't expect us to get above, you know, 418, but we did. So we can get above 418 and hold it. Maybe we just retrace back up this candle towards, you know, 423, 424. So looking to see if we can make that break tomorrow and hold. Uh, if not, if we do break down, 
um, below this area and come back down and retest this 411 area. You know, look for a possible breakdown to 410, 405, or even down to 400. So we could possibly have a, you know, a sell off in new lows uh, if uh, for some reason the market does not like the news that comes out from the Fed. So we'll see what it brings. But you can see here, you know, we do have the 50 curling down below the 200. Typically, that's you know a death cross, you know, again. Um, but uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what, if we can rally up here. Um, but uh, you know, these moving averages are curling down to meet that area, and hopefully at some point that'll be you know a good area for a breakout. But uh, just be careful tomorrow trading at triple Qs. See here, we kind of flat doji here about halfway up this candle. So can we trace up back up here towards you know 325? That would be ideal if we can hold that. Uh, really need to see a couple of days. You know, on the north side, if we're going to try to get bullish again, uh, if not, we could possibly break back down here to, to uh, new lows. Uh, semiconductors, uh, triple Qs, or semiconductors, this is SMH. Uh, you can see here, um, you're trying to break out. So we can get, you know, hold this 238 area and start to get back above, you know, this 247, which is at 20. Uh, maybe we can get a breakout here and start moving north. If not, we may break, break down and close the, the rest of this wedge here. IWM. So Russell 2000 small caps. So small caps here, you know, trying to make a rally, you know, closed above our uh, resistance line here. Now it's support. We need to really try to break back up above 191. So we can rally up towards 195 and then back up towards these moving averages. If we do break down and we break down below the, tw the 200 here at 120, you know, 179, we might start to close some gaps. Energies, nice breakout here got above and closed above all these candles. So that's that's great, that's bullish. It's up towards this candle here. Looking for a retracement possibly up this candle towards 81. If we break back below this candle area around 78, we could start retracing right back down to the 50 around 74 area. Healthcare, XLV, uh, just pretty much flat and still under the 200. So we really need to get above you know, this 131 area to start rallying back up here and get back above these moving averages. Gold sitting right on the 200 consolidating. So looking for uh, support to, to maintain here and a breakup. If we break below this 200, you know, we could come down here and revisit some of these areas around, you know, 1800. Bitcoin still showing weakness. You know, we see this huge sell off we've had uh, and it continues to come down. If we break this current area around, you know, this 37.6 area, may come down to, you know, 36, 35. Uh, or lower. So looking for uh, Bitcoin to make a move to, to, to get out of here. But right now, everything looks looking more on the downside. Ethereum, same thing. Just more gradual sell off here. If we, if we break below these two candles here, these lows, more likely we're going to come down to, you know, the 20, uh, 26 area, possibly 25. Algo. So this is uh, another crypto See here that uh, it's, it's trying to break out. It's tried two days now to break out above that 20. If we can break above it, then we can help it move up more up towards, you know, these, uh, the 50 moving average. So looking still for a breakout of algo, but uh, if it holds down here too long, it's going to have a weakness. And it's going to start to drop back down again, maybe towards back down and retest these 50 cent area. So that's our stocks, our cryptos and our small caps. Uh, definitely looking for uh, great trades tomorrow. Uh, just be careful. It could be flat in the morning uh, until two o'clock and then look at volatility and also some earnings afterwards. Uh, stay safe out there. Have a great night. We'll recap tomorrow and plan out our next uh, next day.